Now I think it's pretty safe to say that when we take a very close look at the 2025 year for the Walt Disney Company, specifically at one of their most failed divisions like Marvel Studios, which they are already preparing to have endless expensive failures. We have Blade, Fantastic Four, Thunderbolts, and Captain America 4 just for starters. That's been going through endless reshoots, rewrites, and or revisions time and time again the past couple of weeks to months now. And exactly what's been going on with Ryan Reynolds, and the whole Joy Behar situation connected to Deadpool 3 that's even getting worse as we speak. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. So one thing about Ryan Reynolds that I think a lot of fans have come to realize is that he is very much like Henry Cavill. And what I mean by that is he is an actor that stands up for the fans, he stands up for the community and the source material, and what is right for a project. Now, we already know that reshoots are on the horizon for Deadpool 3 as we speak. That's going to begin by this April that will last until May. And this is essentially Bob Iger and Kevin Feige's plan to throw in elements of DEI. However, what's really shocking is how Ryan, Sean, Rhett, and Paul are taking advantage of that to do this in their best way to kind of do what they want with the reshoot. So let's discuss exactly what's going on with Joy Behar and the whole scenario. Now, we already talked about how basically Ryan and Hugh Jackman have stepped down from doing a interview on The View by this June, just ahead of its July release date window to promote Deadpool 3, something that Bob Iger and Joy Behar believed would really shockingly increase the ratings for The View, which makes absolutely no sense anyway to begin with. However, with Marvel Studios already dealing with expensive failures that were greenlit by both Bob Iger and Kevin Feige, one major development has much to do with Ryan Reynolds and the drama surrounding the third Deadpool film. In one crucial update with Joy Behar and her reaction after losing several interviews related to Deadpool 3, already Behar is putting full blame on Ryan Reynolds for not only standing down himself from The View and promoting the film on that show, but also how Reynolds was the one who convinced Hugh Jackman and other actors to cancel all of their plans to appear on The View with a dedicated Joy Behar Behar interview. Already Behar has held heated arguments with the Disney heads for even allowing any of this to happen and is demanding for ramifications and consequences to happen to Ryan Reynolds on a professional level as a writer and producer. To make matters even worse, Behar is already giving Disney the heads up and warning them that she is willing to talk about the drama on The View of why Reynolds and Hugh will no longer be appearing on their show in June to promote Deadpool 3. On the other side of this, Ryan Reynolds is also planning to make jokes about Joy Behar as, of course, Deadpool with the upcoming reshoots planned that are set to begin by this April. The jokes about Behar are said to be a series of dialogue that are and will be improvised when they begin shooting for the reshoots. Already Disney executives are holding a problem with this approach by Ryan Reynolds and crew. However, those like Ryan and Sean Levy, the director, made ultimatums against Disney that are putting Disney in their place and preventing them from excluding the jokes about Joy Behar in Deadpool 3. All this drama comes in the wake of how Joy wanted to talk about the importance of DEI in Deadpool 3 and all Disney related material and how The View was going to have both Ryan and Hugh Jackman together dressed up in costume as Deadpool and Wolverine while answering the said questions about the film. Now the jokes that are being prepared by Ryan Reynolds have already been followed up with the writers of the film like Paul Wernick and Rhett Reese and are planning to insert this into the third act. Jokes about Kevin Feige are also being inserted into the third act of the film ahead of the reshoots. Now this is something that Behar is aware about and is furious about after Disney informed Joy that jokes will be made about her in the third act of the film. Now of course, in addition to all of this drama, Joy Behar is also demanding Disney to force Hugh Jackman to come back on The View as originally planned for this June. However, Ryan and Hugh are working together tightly and strictly as a team, and Jackman reportedly wants nothing to do with Joy Behar or The View after their push and defense for DEI. 
Now, though Ryan and team are taking advantage of the reshoots to make jokes about Joy Behar, and even Kevin Feige, and how Disney is not liking it one bit, they are also still battling Disney to this very day to exclude their push of inserting DEI elements into the reshoots, with some, of course, wins and losses in the process against Disney. Now, guys, before I get to the very big conclusion about everything happening here with Ryan Reynolds, let me just say one thing about this. Now, you can see that Joy Behar is like the ultimate defender of Disney and DEI and will even stand against Disney if things don't go her way. And that just goes to show you how hypocritical she really is at times. Now, she's one to defend Disney until, oh, all right. Once Disney gets in her way, she's not going to defend them anymore. So already she's beginning to blame Disney for not taking action against Ryan and or Hugh Jackman for excluding themselves from appearing on The View. Now look, this behavior, as we talked about this before, comes from a place where Bob Iger, Disney executives, and those that are running ABC, those that are running The View, and even Behar herself, believed that getting Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds on board of the show this June would increase ratings for the long term. And I always said this to all of you for a very long time, I would never understand how one episode, one major interview would boost ratings in the long term, all right? To begin with, who watches The View seriously? I mean, the demographic that watches The View are really pathetic at this point in time, and it's exactly why the ratings keep failing and failing year after year. I'm actually quite shocked that The View is not even canceled at this point. But moving onwards, the reason why Behar is acting such a way is that The View held a serious belief that the ratings would skyrocket pretty much for months on end after a dedicated Deadpool 3 interview that would last one whole hour with the entire cast, with many of them dressed up in costume, including Reynolds and Jackman. Already Bob Iger and the Disney heads are in full panic mode over this new development happening across the board. Now again, the fact that you have people like Ryan Reynolds and Sean Levy, the director, really doubling down on their push for really making all these jokes about Joy Behar, about Kevin Feige and how Disney's not liking this one bit, how they believe that this is going to create a big divide within the Disney divisions. It goes to show you how thin-skinned not only Bob Iger truly is, but also how thin-skinned the executives and the board of directors really are when it comes down to Ryan Reynolds' push for making a film that holds no boundaries, right? So again, this is going to be a very interesting development for the next couple of months until the release date happens. Again, we know that July is going to be a very important month, not just for Ryan Reynolds, but also for Disney. Disney is banking on this movie, and yet at the same exact time, they seem to be in full sabotage mode over this film. So guys, I would love to hear what you all have to say about this below in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later. Everything.